Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Steel City Knives. Right, we're going to talk about Jose de Cruz today. Jose de Cruz is a Portuguese company. Uh, that I, I think of them as like the new kid on the block. They've been going around since 2010. So they're not that new, you know, they're a few years old now. But uh, they're new in respect of the other sort of companies that do this similar design. So this is very common design in Europe. Uh, it's a very simple design. It's made of, if they've got the locking mechanism, it's made of five components. Uh, if they haven't, it, it's usually made of four components. Now, Jose de Cruz is slightly different because he gives you a lanyard hole. So that, I suppose that's one more component to the knife. Then Now, sometimes they get called peasant knives as well. Sort of the open L uh, is a good example of that. A lot of people like to call them peasant knives. Uh, as a bit of a nickname i think with the materials he's used uh, and his styling he's definitely elevated them from a peasant knife as far as i'm concerned now i was going to do these for my frugal friday because they are so affordable but i appreciate i've got a few subscribers in america and they're not the same price over there obviously portugal is a lot closer to us uh, and that's why we pay uh, a lot less but uh, for still, for what you're getting, I, I believe that they're, they're a really good buy and, and, and offer a lot of value for money. Uh, again, it is a very simple design, but simple and effective. Uh, and I, I personally love this design. Uh, I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's, you know, and it's been going around for, for, for a very long time and it's proven. So, right, which one should we have a look at first? Should we have a look at the small? So this is classed as the small size. I'll show you the box real quick. So I bought these from Heine Haynes. I've been eyeing them up for ages, but what happens in the UK, we'll get a load of stuff in, it sells, and then sometimes it doesn't come back around for a while. But so Jose de Cruz, uh, based in Portugal, this is all the information you probably need. So this is classed as their small. Uh, it's in tiger wood. Tiger wood. Now, being into knives, it leads you to learn about other things sometimes. And I, uh, wood is one of them, to be fair. I love wood handles or covers. Uh, and then you start to learn about, um, the, the, you know, the makeup of wood and the different types of wood. But this tiger wood, just look at it. Now, as you can see from the handle, they come unfinished. But at this price point, you wouldn't expect any less, um, really. Any more, should I say, sorry. Um, but with that, then you can also treat it how you want to. You can put a gloss coat or, you know, a sort of a, just a, a, a sort of matte clear coat or just oil it and leave it as it is and let it take on a few scuffs and oil stains and all the rest of it. But um, Or marks. It's up to you. Completely up to you. But um, you're saving with them not doing that, I, I assume. Uh, but yeah, I think personally I'm going to put some nice uh, coats of maybe uh, linseed oil and things like that because I just think this will when treated will look so good but yeah tiger wood is unusual and and you don't often find it uh, on a lot of knives but yeah tiger wood let me I did a bit of uh, research on it so one of the most radical exotic woods comes from South uh, Central America Mexico Colombia Venezuela Ecuador and Brazil and it's dark veined stripes as you can see here also known as Congo wood, uh, Zorro wood, Brazilian koa, if I'm saying that right. But yeah, brilliant. And that, that's what I mean. That's why I'm saying he's elevated it from bit not being a peasant knife uh, with the materials he's used. And this knurlin looks absolutely fantastic. I'm just really impressed with this. Now, so the small size, let me chuck some dimensions at you. Right, so the small is, let's have a look, where are we? Three and three eighths closed, um, and then it, that's eight point five centimeters. And the blade itself is seven centimeters. That's two and three quarter inch. So even though it's small, it's still very capable knives. I uh, wear large gloves, um, and I can just about. But I have thin fingers, to be fair. So, but I can just about get uh, four fingers on there. But this knurling, as much as it looks nice and very pleasing to the eye, it's also so grippy in hand. So when you've got that knife pinched in like that, it really does sort of uh, uh, grab you and and keep it in the hand very nicely. So, um, but yeah, I went for. So we, I couldn't find what 
steel he uses, unfortunately. Uh, but I went for his carbon and also the stainless. So just to try them both out. And I did that when I got into open hours. I tried both of their steels out. But I, it just gives you that uh, overview of them, really, doesn't it? Now, the only, as you can see there, in it's a bit unfinished here. Uh, it just needs a bit of sandpaper maybe just to just to tidy that up a little bit the, the only real gripe I've got are these nail nicks now there's just enough real estate to pinch open uh, and also with the locking nut so it locks open but on some of these you can lock them shut not with this one as I show you so we'll shut that so you can't because of the end, or would you call it the tang, but the end of the blade here prevents it from, if he'd taken a little bit more off, he could have just had that so it locked close. Um, but obviously it's his design. But yeah, so it doesn't lock in the closed position, whereas we all know the open L does. So let's just close that up. And also the old bear has a slightly different locking mechanism but it also locks in that closed position so as you probably noticed there as well what a lot of people say with this sort of style of knife is that sometimes they're really hard to get out now obviously wood being the material that it is uh, swells and contracts so shrinks so it depends what sort of atmosphere your knife's in or what you use it for, but you sometimes will find that. Because essentially all you've got is a bit of wood and a pin going through it. So when this wood swells or shrinks, it's going to be harder. So it, it's a, it will change almost. Sometimes it will be easier. Maybe in summer it will be easier to get your blade out. And in winter and wet periods of the year, it may give you a bit more resistance. And, and, and people gripe about that a lot with this sort of um, blade. But and as you can see, it's hard for the open nail because of how limited real estate you have here and you're only relying on that nail nick to get it out. Um, the, Anton, sort of the Antonini has a bit more shoving, so it's a bit more pinchable if that ever happened. Now this is somewhere in between. There is a bit of real estate to pull it out um, and just really get some grip on it so if you ever come across that and you need to get some pipe grips or something like that on just to get it out i know the open l they have a little hack where you bang it on the side to free it off but um just keep in mind about wood and how it works and then maybe just chuck it somewhere dry to dry it out and get that wood shrinking again and it should be all right but yeah it's it is a it is a common problem with this style of knife um but I've seen a lot of people do cutouts on the open L. And obviously being wood, it's very easy to do that. So it's more pinchable to get it open. But anyway, we're digressing. Let's talk about Jose <laughs> de Cruz. So yeah, a relatively new uh, company really um, in the grand scheme of things, but absolutely beautiful. Right, that's the small. This is classed as the medium. Now, they have such a wide range of handle materials, uh, especially for this price point. I've never seen anything like it. Some really quality woods they're using. Uh, and even like the boxwood and things like that that they're using, they're using horn uh, um, and s sort of stag even, sorry. Uh, you know, for this price point and the range that they do is absolutely incredible. Now, believe it or not, this is ironwood that they've used and again this is a £16.95 knife and they're both with the same price uh, which I don't really understand but um, yeah so this is the medium and as you can see here Brazilian ironwood now we all know ironwood to be a really premium wood and look at this and again it comes unfinished but imagine that with a gloss coat that would absolutely pop but check this out guys look at that and I love stuff like that. And that's why I love wood. It's so unique. Now, I think iron wood, the heart of the wood is darker than obviously the outside. So the piece that is used here, I, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's so unique. Um, and a completely different knife from one side to the other. Um, but yeah, a, just a brilliant, brilliant knife. So this is classed as their medium. I'll give you the sizes on this. 
So we've got the, it's a three and seven eight inches closed. Uh, that's 9.8 centimeters. The blade is a three and quarter inch blade uh, and it's 8.2 centimeters. So, but absolutely what you're getting, this is like 16 pound 95 guys. Let's just line them up again because it's insane. It really is insane. And again, this one's got this really short nail nick. That's my only gripe with them, that nail nick. It's really small. Uh, uh, please tell me in the comment section if you've got some of these and you've, yours is the same. It might just be this run that he's done. It's just maybe he needs to change, you know, his, his, his tool or whatever. I don't know. But um, I must admit, I've got another Portuguese sort of um, blade. And again, it's a very small, um, very indiscreet, you know, discreet nail nick there. So this is another Portuguese company. They've been going around for a very long time. A similar style of knife where it's a solid piece of wood just uh, uh, milled out or cut out here. But this is MAM. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, Portugal based uh, since 1870. Uh, these, these are very similar in the sort of construction. They do have different handle shapes um, and different blade configurations as well. They do a lot of different types of blades where... Uh, well, no, open air, I suppose, do do different uh, blade shapes because they have a lot of fillet knives and all sorts of... But MAM, uh, Mam especially has uh, different blade shapes on their line. Um, so, right, yeah, so when I call them the new kid on the block, so you've got that sort of... And you've got the Antonini old bear. Um, these, again, look, this is... This is probably elevated a bit more than a peasant knife. To me, this looks beautiful. This is a walnut handle... Uh, and a brass color, collar there, different type of locking mechanism. Uh, it gives you somewhere to put your thumb when you're cutting as well and to make sure that is definitely locked in. They do a lovely etch on the blade of an old bairn. Obviously, this is in carbon. It's been used quite a bit. So, um, yeah, it's patina, and that's the patina you get on them. Um, I think it's about time to wipe this down and start again, but I love it. I love this style of knife. I really do. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, Open L was one of the ones that sort of got me in uh, to knife collecting because it's so simple, so affordable, with so much history. Um, it's very close, and dear to my heart, and I defend it, and I have defended it quite uh, quite a lot on discords and stuff because it does get, sometimes there's a camp that don't really uh, like it, which is fair enough. Uh, but yeah, so right, there's your lineup. Um, sixteen pound ninety five guys for them. Uh, I, I I'm not going to do any editing on this because I've got quite a few videos to get through. Uh, but I wanted to sort of show you the lineup of Jose de Cruz. But go check them out because I'm really excited about the company. Um, I think they're doing some brilliant stuff, uh, and I'm looking forward to putting these to work. Right, we'll do a quick cook test before I leave you. I appreciate this is a long video already. I just wanted to jump on here and share it. Like I said, I was going to do it for a, a frugal Friday, but absolutely nice and sharp out of the box. Right, that was the small in the tiger wood. Oh. And that's the iron wood, the medium. So I think I need the large, don't I, for the set, but... We'll see how these fare. We'll see how they patina up as well with the carbon. I tried to find out what the steel is, but uh, I came up short. But if any of you know, please put it in the comment section. Um, another comparison I sort of wanted to make with these sort of style of knives. Um, I can't remember. Somebody said what the, the, the blade shape is, actually. And, and, and especially on the open now, it does have an upswept uh, point. But with this, especially... Um, I suppose, yeah, so the the old bear is very similar blade shape to the open L, almost exactly. But what they do have is a flat part and then it dips down, similar to your sod buster. But this especially, I think, looks very similar to a sod buster style. Um, maybe more so on the large. Um, but yeah, it's just a real good working knife right i've rambled on for long enough but really excited to get these two in the collection and talk about jose de cruz thank you very much i will see you on the next one please like and subscribe helps the channel grow uh, all that good stuff right appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one bye